Wow, what just happened? Oh my gosh, iOS 18.2 is insane. Hey friends, welcome back to Imaphone channel. iOS 18.2 has finally, finally launched. This monumental second update takes the iPhone experience to a whole new level, boosting our freedom and efficiency like never before. In this video, I'll show you 5 must-see features that are perfect for both work and everyday life. Let's dive in. First, you can finally set a volume limit for your iPhone speakers. Have you ever noticed how kids or parents always crank the volume to max? Your ears must be suffering next to them yikes. To do this, we need to go to the settings app, then go to sounds and haptic settings, where you will find a button that allows you to set the volume limit for the built-in speakers. Here, you have a slider that can be adjusted from 20% to 90%. This means the minimum volume you can set is 20%, while the maximum limit is 90%. Of course, if you turn it off, the volume will be at 100%, so handy. Another really great improvement. With Safari on iOS 18.2. Is that now when you go to hide distracting items? Like this you can actually move through the page. Even if I select that. I can still move through the page here when I'm hiding. Different items from Safari. So that's really really cool. Previously on iOS 18.1 that used to be just locked on the page right there. So you could not move while you're actually hiding distracting items. Now you can scroll as easy as that and just find any item you want to hide. And let's not forget the mail app updates in iOS 18.2 they're super convenient for our work life. There's also a change on the mail app so the mail app will be totally different and it will be available for all devices. You will see right here we have different sections now where you can actually filter your email which is really great. When you pull down from the corner, you'll notice that the new control center is more colorful and has been organized into three pages. The full page visualizer displays whatever media is playing and includes a comprehensive list of connectivity toggles. Now let me introduce hidden features you might have missed. On the first page, tapping the plus button in the corner reveals a grid where you can adjust the size and placement of any item using the tabs in the bottom corner. The items have predefined sizes they can shift between, allowing users to customize their control center layout. You can also explore a massive list of potential controls. Finally, you can customize the controls on your lock screen which have defaulted to the flashlight and camera for ages. By holding down the screen, you can enter customization mode and configure the settings to your liking. I finally figured out where the screen recording feature is located so handy. The third feature that might be overlooked is the calculator. When you first open the calculator app, it appears as a standard calculator, which might look quite familiar. Located in the bottom left corner, there's a small toggle allowing you to switch to a scientific calculator, which is typical for many users. But if you flip it to the new feature called Math Notes, the interface transforms to resemble a notes app. This allows you to create a new note and begin handwriting mathematical equations. Remarkably, once you write an equal sign, the app can automatically solve the equation for you and will keep those results updated as you continue to write or type additional notes. The app isn't limited to simple equations. It features a variety of functions, including handling variables and even graphing capabilities. What's particularly clever is that if you redefine a variable later in the same note, the app retains the previous value for earlier references while applying the new value going forward. So, are you feeling the excitement for iOS 18.2 yet? If you want to get a taste of the new features in iOS 18.2, Try using Imaphone Fixbo it lets you upgrade to iOS 18 with just one click. Step 1. Download Fixbo from description below. Launch it and connect your iPhone to the computer. Step 2. Under the iOS Upgrade, Downgrade tab, choose the upgrade iOS as you want to get the iOS 18. Step 3. Fixbo will automatically detect your device. Once the info shows up, click the download button to get the iOS 18 firmware. Step 4. Click the Start Upgrade iOS button and put your iPhone into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and above, instantly click and release the volume up key and then the volume down key. Press and hold the side button until you see this. Wait for a few minutes for the software to finish installing, 
the iOS 18 on your iPhone. When the process is finished, your iPhone will be rebooted and you can see that your iPhone now is in the iOS 18. Amazing, right? Now you can fully enjoy exploring the new features of iOS 18. Alright that's it for today. If this video helps please hit it with a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Any questions please leave a comment below. See you guys in the next video.